The Ford F-150 Lightning is so advanced that it can do things like power your entire house for more than three days on a single charge. If that doesn't sound good enough, the Ford F-150 Lightning's towing technology can also learn from other Ford trucks on the road. The biggest unique selling point of the Ford F-150 Lightning has always been the fact that it is an electric truck with some of the best powertrains out there in any electric truck, yet it feels normal to drive. Being an electric vehicle, the Ford F-150 Lightning is packed with some of the greatest technology that you can find with any electric pickup truck with almost everything that you can think of. But things get better with features that you might have never thought about previously. That's exactly what makes the Ford F-150 Lightning exciting. So why not stick around till the end of the video to know more about how you could use your Ford F-150 Lightning to power your entire house. The EV pickup segment is still at its infancy, and we are still waiting for the Cybertruck. We still don't know when that is going to hit the roads, but we get it, making electric vehicles is hard. You have to appreciate Tesla for what they do, because even today we don't have a proper EV from any of the legacy auto manufacturers that can compete with Tesla's dominance in this domain. The Cybertruck got us excited because it's unlike anything we've seen before. However, the Ford F-150 Lightning is not trying to be another Cybertruck. Instead, it is trying to follow in the footsteps of the gasoline F-150 when it comes to styling, because of one reason brand recall. The Ford F-150 is not just any other truck out there. It's a brand in its own rights because Americans generally associate pickup trucks with the Ford F-150. The Ford F-Series pickups have been some of the best-selling vehicles in America for decades, with sales of about 726,000 trucks just in 2021 alone, which means the Ford F-Series pickups are one of the most important vehicles both for Ford Motors and also for the U.S. economy. The company behind the F-150 Lightning has delivered more than what we wanted with this electric pickup truck. So what surprises do we have with the Ford F-150 Lightning? Mega power in the frunk. Electric pickup trucks like the Ford F-150 Lightning made things a lot more practical, especially when it comes to storage spaces. This is because of the compact nature of the electric motors when compared to internal combustion engines. The frunk is huge, with a capacity of 400 liters and ability to carry up to 180 kilograms. It is also weatherproof, and there is even a drainage hole so it can be filled with ice and it can be used as a mobile drink cooler. Come on, who would have thought of that? Kudos to Ford for this one. The cabin is equipped with two 120 volt outlets, six USB ports, and a wireless charger. The frunk has a pair of 120 volt outlets and two USB ports, and the bed has four 120 volt sockets and a 240 volt socket. These can be used to power anything from circular saws, air compressors, floodlights, televisions, small refrigerators, generators, or even a hot tub when you're camping or tailgating. So Ford is taking this storage space to the next level in the form of several USB ports and power outlets that are built right into the front wall, which will then open up possibilities like charging devices or power tools while on the go. This might even convince more people to buy the Ford F-150 Lightning over the regular version, as it can be useful especially for the future future Lightning owners because companies will be coming up with lots of innovative use cases that you might have never imagined. Maybe Ford themselves will release something that you could use to fully utilize the frunk. Hands-free driving capability. Tesla made self-driving capabilities extremely popular, and the current trend in the EV space is such that every electric vehicle moving forward needs to have some sort of autonomous driving capabilities. At least by 2030, most of the vehicles sold will have some level of autonomy. Ford is here with its Blue Cruise, which is Ford's own hands-free driving system that's available on some of the higher-end Lightning models. There is almost little to no learning curve with this system, making it extremely easy to use. All you need to do is turn on your cruise control and arrive at a stretch of highway that is pre-approved by Ford, called a Blue Zone. And then the Lightning will invite you to take your hands off the steering wheel. The truck will be using cameras and sensors to automatically steer, accelerate, and brake, all while monitoring the surrounding traffic. It works pretty flawlessly, because the Lightning confidently stays in its lane without you having to intervene, especially on long stretches. So when traffic isn't too hectic, Blue Cruise could be a true lifesaver, as this could make long-distance drives a little less tiring. Ford's Towing Technology Carrying the F-150 moniker, means the Ford F-150 Lightning being a truck needs to fill big shoes by having some of the best towing capabilities out there. 
The trucks with extended range batteries and the optional Max Trailer tow package can tow trailers as heavy as 10,000 pounds, or about 4,500 kilograms. The truck will also be able to recalculate the anticipated range with the trailer. The standard range battery has a maximum towing capacity of about 7,700 pounds, or about 3,500 kilograms, without the trailer. The Lightning can do a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of about 4.5 seconds with the extended range battery. The standard range battery drivers will have their truck go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 5 seconds. Ford's cloud-connected technology is what makes Ford's towing technology a lot better. Because with cloud-connected technology, a lot of things can be constantly improved, not just by tweaking the algorithm. Ford says that the towing data from other Ford F-150 Lightnings will be used to help make figures as accurate as possible. So yes, your Lightning will be pulling information from the surrounding world in real time to help make calculations like route elevation, ambient temperature, speed, and so much more. This simply means that the trip data from other Lightnings will be considered by a system to ensure that the route can be explored properly and it's not just a trip to nowhere. The truck will also learn how you drive in order to give you an accurate range figure. Not your average home charger. You may think the surprises with the Ford F-150 Lightning end with just powering tools, laptops, or camping gear. Well, the truth is, it's just half the story when it comes to the Lightning's electrical capabilities. Ford is offering a home charger called the Charge Station Pro, which, like any other EV charger, will fill the battery using AC in the normal way. But what makes this one slightly different is the fact that it can also take power from the truck over a DC connection all thanks to the Ford Intelligent Backup Power feature you get with your Ford F-150 Lightning. This happens automatically when there is a power cut. This means your house will only be witnessing a power outage for a few seconds because the power will be restored in just 45 seconds. Ford also claims that the Lightning can run an average U.S. home for up to three days when equipped with the larger 130 kilowatt hour battery pack, or up to 10 days when the home's electrical demands are planned properly. In the future, Ford also wants to offer users a system where a home's power supply will switch between grid and truck depending on whatever is most cost effective. If this is not exciting, we don't know what else is because Ford is rethinking the way that we use our electric vehicles and it looks like Tesla now needs to take notes from Ford. Let's hope that we get something similar with the Cybertruck as well, considering that Tesla is a company that is here to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy, which is why they have solar roof tiles and the infamous Powerwall. The reasons for Ford already bagging about 200,000 bookings for the new Lightning are plenty. But Ford is only capable of building 150,000 trucks in 2023 because that's how many batteries Ford is able to make. So the company's challenge is not about finding willing buyers, but to deliver the trucks on time to the customers who really need them. Charging infrastructure is getting better, and let's hope that Ford will also be able to crack the code, just like Tesla. In the end, what matters is how well the Ford F-150 Lightning performs when you're driving. The drive is extremely smooth and comfortable, but it still drives like a truck. Ford was able to maximize the Lightning's driving range with the low rolling resistance tires. By having less grip than normal tires would, it suffers from abundant understeer, sliding the front tire whenever the Lightning hits the curves. This is also the characteristic of any full-size pickup truck, which means the Lightning is as authentic as the regular Ford F-150. The Ford F-150 Lightning is not trying to be the next Cybertruck. It is very clear with the design that Ford wants to go the traditional route by giving people something that they're already familiar with. The design choices are intentional because Ford wants it that way and maybe even the F-150 users want it that way. Customers also get a free 120 or 240 volt AC charging cable so that they can charge their Ford F-150 Lightning whenever a plug is available. The extended range Ford F-150 Lightning owners also get a free 80 amp charging station, but the cost for the actual installation of the station should be paid by you as a vehicle owner. So you cannot deny the fact that Ford has put a lot of thought into this new truck and the entire ecosystem surrounding it. The future is bright for electric vehicles, and one thing is for sure. Whichever car companies release their EVs next have some pretty big shoes to fill.